So the sixth Zelda game is Majora's Mask. This was my favorite game before it became huge, became mainstream. What I love about this game is not the edginess, which most people are into. What I like about this Zelda game is everything, the town is so compact. There is a time and everybody's doing something at a, a very specific time. Um, so you can literally follow the NPC in their daily activities. It's not just a cool thing in the game. No, it's important. And that's why I love Majora's Mask. Uh, and I think also I love this game because at the same time I was playing Shinmu, which also kind of has that compact uh, town. NPCs are doing different things during the time of the day. So there's a bit of nostalgia and like a time period in my life where I was playing these two fantastic games. So there's a bit favoritism. The temple. So the first dungeon is the song of the Woodfall Temple. I almost said waterfall. Just glanced at it. I almost said waterfall. <laughs> okay. Okay, drums. I remember that sound. Ooh, I have something to say. There is no melody to this song, actually. I don't remember the song because there's not much of a song. It's all percussion and sound effects of like animals. And unfortunately, I'm gonna say it, tribal calls. But that sound, I've heard it in other video games like Bot and Kaitos. This song is not mysterious. It's eerie because you're lost you don't belong here kind of feel uh yeah it does give you a sense of danger if you ever been hiking and lost oh my gosh that is a whole different type of fear i like that it's all percussion to build up on what how i described this song uh there's no main melody to hang on to so it almost gives you uncertainty um yeah <laughs> That's how I'm describing this song. That's how this song makes me feel. And remembering the temple, I'm just remembering the boss. I thought it was really cool. It fits the theme of this, of this music, the dungeon, it all fits together. I like the boss. I like how he, he's like a giant. Um, and he's like really swift. So he has like magic, he's super fast, and you're like, hold still, will you? So yeah, I like it. Now for the seventh Zelda game. Now I'm wondering, the seventh Zelda game comes with a two pack. So it is the Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. So if you do like these games, um, I'm sorry, I don't like these games. And which is strange. They're made by Capcom and I love Capcom, which is kind of strange to say. I only, do, the main reason I don't like them is I do know the songs, they're awful. And, which is also strange to say, Capcom doesn't do awful stuff. And Link will become Mega Man all of a sudden. So it's kind of like the final boss, we're just fighting Dr. Wily, really. And that's why the difficulty level goes really extreme sometimes, because it's just Mega Man. It really is. So that's all I'm going to say. I'm sorry if you'd like these games. Awesome if you can beat them. Um, so, 
So the song is for the dungeon, Gnarled Root Dungeon. I have to space those out, or I just slur all those words together. <laughs> Spooky. That song is really short. I don't think it's a minute long. So that's why I don't really care for the soundtrack to this game. So you're wandering around in the dungeon and you hear this the whole time you're in a dungeon and it's not even a minute long. Oh my gosh. I think I played this game on mute most of the time, especially in the dungeons. So, but as a dungeon theme, it definitely gives you a sense of Danger, eeriness, spookiness, uh, so it fits a dungeon, but it's actually kind of annoying too. I'm going to compare this song with the very first song we just heard, the NES. It's super simple. There wasn't much. It was the first Zelda game, but even that melody was better than this. And this is a company that's already been established. So I'm just kind of like, this is like disappointment. Um. Like, what happened? Did you run out of time? Did you not find a composer? Or maybe they quit and you have to find a new one? I don't know. I just made all that up. So I'm just wondering, like, what happened? If I'm going to compare this song to Link's Awakening, because they're both Game Boy games, that one is more tolerable. This one, in my opinion, isn't. So that's just me. Uh, maybe there's somebody out there that loves this song. <laughs> somebody has to. It's kind of interesting that I said it played like a Mega Man game at times. And I love Mega Man games. But it's Link trying to be Mega Man at times, so it doesn't work. Oh, that's Final Boss. Mm. Next up is Oracle of Ages. Now here's the thing, because I've been talking bad about this game, I love the idea of this game. So I have good things to say about it. I just forgot to say them. So, I love the idea of this. I like that this too. Now the Game Boy era had a uh, kind of a gimmick having two different versions like Pokemon and and other games. I like that this Zelda game had those two and they meet in the middle to complete the whole story to wrap it up. And I know there's supposed to be a third one, but it just didn't work out. Some of the characters are actually really good. It's just the soundtrack and the game mechanics. Some at times. At times, not all the time. So that's the only issue. So this song is called Spirit Grave. Um, Dungeon Cave? I don't know. Ooh, I gotta say something. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that's it. So if you play Zelda games, imagine yourself playing a dungeon. Think of any dungeon, any temple. Think how long it takes you to finish that dungeon. Maybe five minutes, 10 minutes maybe. Now put this song in there. Oh my gosh, do you know what I'm talking about now? Do you know, you see what I'm like? Oh my gosh, I need to play this on mute. That was actually annoying. And it didn't add to the song. You could have added more to it. What is going on? And those sound effects, the little cl like clink sounds, uh, I think those are the sound effects from Pokemon when you're on the menu and you like select an op, uh, you select something. I'm like almost 100% sure that's a Pokemon sound effect. So, uh, 
That was kind of strange. Um, yeah. Oh, this song. Okay, on to the eighth. It's called Four Swords. Not Four Sword Adventure. It's just Four Swords. I was lucky enough to download this version of the game on the eShop on 3DS. There is a tutorial dungeon, but that's a tutorial. I'm like, dungeon, boss. A very specific key item at the end. That's when I'm saying first dungeon, that's what I'm going for. So this is the C tree dungeon. So it is four swords for the Game Boy Advance. the game is Wind Waker and the song is from the dungeon Dragon Roost Inside Dragon Roost Mountain Volcano Island what was it called again <laughs> I've only played this game three times uh, twice on the GameCube and then once on the Wii U for the HD version which was actually impressive I didn't think you can do you could clean up uh, cell shading because it's already cartoony. Um, but they did a good job, actually. Hold on. much to this. I wonder if they're trying to do what Ocarina of Time did. Oh, it definitely gives up the atmosphere. Okay. Okay, I just think of what they were trying to do in Ocarina of Time, which is the ambient sound. Now, I remember the dungeon and I remember the boss. That was cool. So I think what they were trying to do is bring that, the song from like the Great Deku Tree into like this. So you have not really a melody, just kind of like this ambient, this, this ambient presence. And it kind of falls short. No, it really does fall short. The bongo drums, okay. You notice the sound effects in this song are actually from the caverns of Dodongo from Ocarina of Time. They just kind of took that and stuck it here. Which is fine. That was kind of funny. If you're like a hardcore Zelda fan and know every, where every sound effect comes from, you'd probably be like, oh, I know where that's from. So that's kind of cool. I guess, you know, having the sound effects of a volcano. I mean, you are inside a volcano. So I do like that they have the sound effects of like inside a mountain, inside, you know, it is dangerous. But other than that, uh there's not much to this i feel like it's incomplete yeah incomplete i feel like there needs to be something more 
Uh, I don't know what though. So, I like the game though. Uh, this sounds kind of, hmm. Yeah, something's missing. Okay, number 11 is the Four Sword Adventures. Now this is different from the other Four Swords. This was on the GameCube. You can play with your friends, but you all have to have Game Boys and the Cable Link. But if you could do that, uh, it was a great game. And this dungeon is just called Cave. <laughs> Okay, that was an interesting little creepy part. I think it's looping now. So that is the cave theme from Link to the Past. And then when they when you heard that violin uh, or string instrument creepy part, it almost was like a tease to the Dark World dungeon theme. Just a little bit. It almost sounded like it was going there, but it didn't really become anything. Um, again, I hope that this dungeon is short because that is a little annoying. <laughs> Having the suspense part, it's just like, okay, I get it. Uh, it is dangerous in here. Um, yeah, but that's not a melody. So, oh my goodness. Uh, I've only played this game once, uh, so I don't remember. <laughs> the 12th game is Minish Cap. And if you haven't played this game, you should. It's on the Nintendo Online service, uh, which is awesome. This game is fantastic. It's also made by Capcom, like from like ages and seasons, but it's done really well. Uh, I recommend this game. The dungeon is called Deep Wood Shrine. This is serious. This is cool. I like it. I like how intense, and uh, when I mean intense, I mean intimidating, especially the beginning and kind of throughout the whole song. It had this boom, boom, almost like this heartbeat. Because the gimmick of this game is becoming really small, I felt like I was in an ancient like mech or automaton and you're inside. And I felt like that booming sound was like its heartbeat. And this temple, I know it's not. The first dungeon is like 
the forest and, and water or something like a pond or something. Uh, but to you, it's like an ocean because you're like this, you shrink down. The song feels like it's for an ancient high tech, uh, temple. I don't know. That's what it just feels. It has this majestic dangerousness to it. Um, and it doesn't sound like a Zelda game. It actually, I like thought of different Game Boy Advance games. And I thought of Metroid, uh, I thought of Metroid Fusion and uh, Zero Mission. I, th I thought of Golden Sun and other JRPGs. So I've mentioned this before uh, in another video. If a song for a game can fit other genres, I think it's extra special. Because usually uh, songs are composed for the stage. So having it fit into another genre, uh, I think that's really cool. So it's kind of funny, the gimmick of the game is becoming small. And this song makes you feel small, like intimidation. And you're just like, I'm a little speck. <laughs> so yeah, awesome song. I really liked it.